Welcome back to this tutorial series, Unity C Sharp for Beginners. Now, in the last episode, we talked about variables and variable types. We learned how to assign different values to our variables, and we learned about variable types like integers, strings, as well as floats. We also learned about different operators that we can use to add, subtract, divide, multiply, or even the modulus operator, which shows us the remainder of a division, right? In this particular challenge, I have two grocery stores. Store A has 250 apples, store B has 925 apples, and store C has 300 apples. What I want you to do is to find the average amount of apples between those three stores. So you're going to add each of those values to each other. So you're going to add those three values and then you're going to divide that total by the amount of stores to find the average. Right. Uh, when you're done, you can take that value and output it to the console by saying the average amount of apples is and then output your value. If you think you know how to do that on your own, you can pause the video. And when you get back, we'll show you the solution. OK, so first I'm going to assign the value of shop A. And shop B is 925. Ooh, what am I doing? Um, and shop C is 300. Now we want to find the average amount of apples between those three shops. So that's shop B and shop C. So we're adding those three values and then dividing them by three. We can then We can then output those values. Sorry, what am I doing? What did I leave out there? OK, so uh, th the good thing to note is that if you do leave something out, Visual Studio will always show you with these red squiggly underlines. And so I left out the is equal to sign, and it showed me that I left it out. OK, now we can then write that to our console by saying the average amount of apples is and then we can print out average apples now if we run debug and start without debugging you'll notice that it says 491 but if you have a calculator and you add up those values 250 plus 925 plus 300 and divide them by 3 you'll notice that it's 491.66666 recurring now there are two things that i want you to pay attention to in this particular challenge the first thing is that those brackets if we didn't use the brackets and we just said shop a plus shop b plus shop c divided by 3 and we ran it, you see that the value would be completely different. And that's because it's adding these two and then taking this one and dividing it by three. But by adding the brackets, we make sure that it does the addition first and then the division. Now, the second thing that I want you to take note of is that if we wanted to be able to show those decimal points, we could use a float. And the float will be will allow us to see with a little bit more accuracy the values after the decimal point. And if you run that now, you'll see it says 491. The average amount of apples is 491.6667. And if you want to be a little bit more accurate, you could use the double. 
the double variable type. And the double variable type will give you a whole load, a whole lot more, sorry, a whole lot more accuracy in terms of numbers after the decimal point. So let's run that now. Here we go. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. In the next video, we'll be talking about enumerators.